Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I went to Bath & Body Works today. They had their buy one, get one candle for free. And today's Monday and luckily they extended it because I was up at my mom's uh, visiting her and uh, luckily they extended the sale till today, Monday. So I did end up purchasing uh, six candles and uh, yeah, I, I looked into my stash first. Um, I usually don't buy as many summer spring scents. I do like them. I really do enjoy them, but I I do prefer fall winter scents. That's when I really go kind of nuts for them. So I did get six candles and uh, yeah, so I visited my mom and yeah, you probably, if you follow my channel, you know, she's 92. She lives alone. Um, my brother and my two brothers and my sister and myself kind of rotate going up to see her. But she is getting uh, more and more frail, so I don't, I'm don't. i not sure how long that's going to last. Uh, so either my sister or myself will take her in. Uh, she's going, no, just put me in a nursing home. I was like, no, Mom. I mean, she is bright as a whip. Uh, she, uh, nothing wrong with her mind, and uh, she just has problems with her mobility, and she's got heart issues now. So I said, no, it's either me or my sister will, will take her in. So um, anyway, so uh, I did go through HomeSense and Marshalls uh, to get to Bath & Body Works. And oh my gosh, they had so many bunnies. I love bunnies. I used to have a pet rabbit called Oliver who was actually litter trained and had the run of the house. And... Um, Every morning when I was changing to go to work, he would run around my legs in one direction, then change directions, and then plop on his side. I couldn't figure out why he was doing this. So I got this book about, you know, rabbits and behavior and all that. And it meant he was trying to mate with me. Uh, so yeah, my bunny rabbit was trying to mate with me. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I do, I do miss Oliver and uh, I love bunnies. So I did get pick up a few little goodies in uh, Marshalls. And the first thing I purchased was this little bunny. He's sitting on a little wicker chair reading his book. And I do love uh, reading. And actually I have a, a mum rabbit and a little baby rabbit. And um, I got this a few years ago. And she's reading to the little baby bunny little book there. So I just love that one. Um, but yeah, there's a little little chicks and some eggs there too. But yeah, I love bunnies. I love reading. So there's a bunny reading. Alrighty. And then uh, I did get a thermal coffee cup or tea cup. Uh, Frank keeps stealing mine to take to work. And I just uh, picked up this really summery one. And it holds 20 ounces or 600 mils. And this keeps things cold with ice for nine hours and hot for three hours. And it's got this little button at the side. And uh, just nice and comfy to grip it there. So yeah, I, I didn't know why they put that on there. And then I kind of picked it up and held it. And I thought that is very, very comfy actually. So. And then uh, my napkins, I, I do love my napkins. And I really like the ones that are in the shape of the, the object. So this one is actually uh, a little bunny shaped napkin. Um, he still has a scarf on, but hey, you know, even in the spring, uh, it can be a little bit cool. So that's my little bunny shaped napkin. And this is a butterfly shaped napkin. Very pretty spring colors. And then these napkins have all the different herbs on it. And nice and colorful. So that was my little haul from uh, HomeSense. All right, uh, candle-wise, I will start with uh, Almond Croissant. And yeah, it's really pretty label. Very unique kind of um, kind of like a dusty mauve color there. 
and I do love the smell of almonds. Uh, this is toasted almonds, vanilla glaze, and flaky croissant. Now I get I basically get almond. I don't pick up the flakiness, like the doughy flakiness of a croissant, but I do get the almond, and I do love almond scents. So hopefully this one has a fairly uh, decent throw. All right, and then uh, the next one. Uh, now these labels were really, really quite pretty. Uh, this is Eucalyptus Rain. Uh, so yeah, I really thought that was a really pretty label. And that's the lid there. And yeah, Eucalyptus Rain I've had quite a few times in the past. Aromatic Eucalyptus Spearmint Leaves and Fresh Spring Rain. Yeah, this is just a... Uh, uh, fresh, bright. Um, so I think it's more of an aquatic scent than eucalyptus. Um, it's not like there's going to be koala bears hanging around or anything like that. Um, it's more, I get more of the kind of fresh, maybe salty ocean air kind of uh, scent with this one. Uh, what was that other scent? I, yeah, spearmint. I don't think I ever really got spearmint from this one. Yeah, it's just a watery, somewhat green, uh, aquatic kind of candle. And yeah, I have had this in the past. It's always been fairly strong. But yeah, I really love that label. I was going to get Flower Child, but it was such, a, it was a nice scent, but it was just so light I could barely smell it. So it had the similar label to that. And this is Anna's Garden. Now, I believe this is for Black History Month. Um, and this is uh, Orange Blossom, White Tea, and Jasmine Musk. So I do like Orange Blossom scents. Um, it's very similar to like Neroli scents. And yeah, I do really get the Neroli. Now, what did I... I bought a Bath & Body Works candle that had Neroli in it. What was the name of it now? Might have had an Aroli in the title. I can't remember. But that one was actually a... It's a good candle and it threw quite well. I really enjoyed it. So this one... What's it say? A tribute to my mom whose flower gardens always made us feel at home wherever we were. So yeah, I think it's... Um, I think it was like, like Black History Month. And I think part of the proceeds to went some organization. I was kind of in a hurry so I didn't really read all of it in, in depth or anything like that. But it's it's very very pretty. So that's Anna's Garden. And this one is Bergamot and Birch. I do love Bergamot scents and I do like the woodsy kind of scents. Um, vibrant, vibrant Bergamot, Black Amber, and Birch Wood. Now I don't I don't get amber with this one. I get a very light greenery scent. Um, it's not even... Oh, Mildred, someone's probably walking by. Um, the, wood, the wood scent is very light. It's in the background. I get more of a, uh, a very light citrusy greenery scent. It's it's different from bergamot waters uh, because this is, has more green in it, uh, but it's if you like bergamot, you definitely pick up on that. But yeah, it's a little bit light on coal, which I'm kind of worried about. Um, I mean, I've had Bath and Body Works that are very light on cold, and then they throw like a beast. But it is a very, it's uh, a very light, not a very, it's not like a really heavy greenery scent. It's a lighter, brighter kind. Um, so yeah, I do like it. It's kind of like a watery, citrusy, greenery scent. Um, but yeah, I was thinking maybe we get a little bit more wood out of it, but I don't. So um, we'll see how it is burning. But yeah, I just, I hope it throws because it's a little bit light on cold. This is Fresh Sheets, and I've had this previously, and I really like the smell of this, and it really threw quite well. Very pretty label. And this is uh, Citrus, Crisp Citrus, Clean Lavender, and Watery Apple. 
and yeah i remember this one i i didn't get the apple um it it is kind of like a laundry scent but it's um doesn't have that harshness or astringency that some of the laundry scents have it's a little bit softer um I do get a little bit of lavender, but it's not like a heavy herbal cloying kind of lavender. It is very pretty. I really like this when it's burning. It's very, very nice. So that's fresh sheets. And then the last one is um, greenhouse fern. So yeah, I love greenery scents uh, in the springtime. And this is lush bergamot, violet leaves, and jasmine blooms. Now again, this one seems to be quite light on cold, like the bergamot and um, and birch. So I hope they throw okay. Yeah, this one is uh, it's a, it's not maybe as green as the bergamot and birch. This is maybe a little more citrusy and floral. Yeah, I can, yeah, I definitely pick up a, a, the citrusy note in here while the other ones may be a little more predominantly green. Um, so yeah, I definitely get the citrus with this one. And bergamot is kind of from a citrus plant, so. But yeah, there it's a little light. So um, I hope those throw okay. I just found a, a I was sniffing quite a few of them and yeah, they just seem a little bit light on cold, a lot of the scents, so we'll see. And then uh, starting February 19th, 10 off uh, 40 coupon. So yeah, that's it. Um, I didn't go nuts this time. Um, I've just purchased so many from Goose Creek and um, when I went down to the, hopped over the border, I got a lot of Sensationals and Better Homes and Gardens. I got another Goose Creek haul coming, just some melts, um, some spring and summer melts. So yeah, I, I didn't go crazy this time. So anyway, that's it. Um, hope you enjoyed and uh, got to go take the puppies out uh, for a walk there. And um, I hope everyone's well. I'll give your loved ones a hug and kiss, and uh, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.